Got our first good dump of snow this year. Uh, pretty decent amount. <clears throat> Oops. Any taller boots. Um, and in a previous one uh, earlier this week that wasn't that much snow, but we lost a limb on this tree over here. And now we've lost another one back on the back. These, these limbs are very long. Oh. Milk was a bad choice. These shoes are too short. These limbs are really long, they get caked with snow. Snow is wet and heavy, and then it, they just snap. So here's the latest casualty. Oh, that's thick enough, we'll get some firewood out of that. But oh, what a bummer. Oh, well, okay, at least it was way up there. So this is one of the ones that was too far up. That, that's actually too far, even with the really long uh, pole that I have. So at least it wasn't one of these ones. So that will probably allow a bit of more sun back here, which uh, it does kind of need sometimes. So this thing self prunes, unfortunately, but over here and look at, you can see these ones are, normally you can walk under these, but they're so weighed down. Here's the one that broke. Yeah, that's a heavy limb. Last night I actually, um, I actually batted the snow off, um, I call it waking up the tree, off about the lower third of these limbs and I think that really helped because these ones would have been way more weighed down. I did it to this tree as well <coughs> and that one's back to the ground. Um, but quite a winter wonderland right now. Alright, so I got my pole. This actually extends farther. This is actually one of those, um, it's a roof rake actually, I just don't have the end thing on it. And just uh, go a little bit wider here. Just tap the snow here. And this stuff's a little bit crusty, so it doesn't fall off as well. I think it got kind of warm last night, and then it the snow kind of stuck, which makes it worse for the tree as a whole. <sighs> yeah, so we'll clean up the tree here. Pro tip, if you've got uh, short boots and tall snow and you're making new footprints, when you put your foot down, slide it forward and that way the back of your boot, when you pick it up, does not get covered in snow. And that way you can make new footprints and not get covered in snow. All right, we got that cut up. Got a little bit of firewood for the summer out of that. These are, these are big limbs. These are at least four inches, probably five. Actually, probably closer to six inches at the breaking point. A bunch of branches here. I guess if I keep them, they'll burn well in the summer. I'll just get rid of them. The Christmas tree. So that one, that branch came off. Yeah, you can see it right up there. I think I already showed this, but pretty big uh, split. Um, yeah, oh, that was a big one. <sighs> nice big open side over here. I guess at some point I can plant some other large trees between these gaps. And then there's another one that I'm not gonna be able to get to. Here we go. So it came off of that, and then the stub is right there, but it's caught up on this branch. So this, this north side loses everything. There's an old loss. There's one from last night, last night, and then this is from couple days ago so it would be cool if some eagles nested in there someday be a great spot for it as long as they don't eat our dog so let's see this one yeah you can see it's hanging down here hung up on that um, yeah I don't 
I could take off that dead part, but I can't get up that high, so. Might have to have a tree service do that in the summer. So anyway, the limbs are now a little bit more horizontal. The ice is very crunchy, it kind of melted. Uh, it, got, it got a little warm last night. I don't think it quite rained, but so then the snow got really soft and sticky and then it got cold and hardened again. So it's kind of, it's not ice, but it's really crunchy snow that's not gonna come off very easily. So there we go. Also a little plug for the Greenworks saw. I've had this saw for a number of years. This is the 80 volt. Um, they probably call it pro something. I don't know. Uh, I can't remember. I think this is 20 inch. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, this did really good. I sharpened the, uh, I sharpened the, um, chainsaw, uh, teeth, uh, a couple weeks ago before I was gone. The battery was charged, just turned it on, started right up, and it cuts through this green wood like nothing. Really cuts the green wood well, so really happy with uh, this. It does struggle a little bit with really hard dry wood and really like, you know, like uh, 16, 18 inch wide logs, but did well today. So, all right, that's it. So that was the... Um, Branch cleanup of January 2024.